Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to the Memorial Day weekend. Thank you so much for joining us for this last minute Fashion unboxing. Fashion is absolutely our favorite subscription box. It is affordable. They donate things, some of the proceeds from the boxes to a wonderful cause for rescue puppies. And we just love how affordable it is and customizable. My stylist, Morgan, looks like she did an incredible job. The cool thing about fashion is that you get to, they send you an email and you get to pick from a list of items. You get to pick which five are going to ship to you. So you have a little bit more control, which I love. And I also love that they give you a discount if you buy three or five. So with other subscription boxes, you have to buy everything to get a discount and they're already affordable. So it's just it makes a lot of sense. We're excited to show it off tonight. It's been a while since I've had a fashion box. I was really craving a box that combined some comfortable quarantine wear, which is hard to find these days, right? Because all the malls are closed and you want to try that stuff on with a little bit of fun, sassy, sherry clothes. And usually fun, sassy, sherry clothes means something off the shoulder and something a little resort wearish. So that's exactly what I got. And I'm thrilled to show it to you. Now, we're going to get to that in about two to three minutes. But first, it's Friday night, so we're definitely going to make a cocktail to kick things off. And I chose to make a cocktail that reminded me of fashion tonight, sort of purple with Chambord. So we're going to make what's called a Bramble. Bramble is a very simple gin and Chambord base cocktail. All you need is about three quarters of an ounce of Chambord, an ounce of gin, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, a lemon wedge, and fresh ice, and you mix it all up, you put it in a glass, and you're done. We're actually going to use a cocktail shaker tonight, but you don't even need a cocktail shaker. You could just pour it all in the glass. I usually, whenever I have something with citrus in it, though, I do use a cocktail shaker so the citrus can blend with the liqueur. So let me grab my bottles here, and let's get mixing. We've been having fun in the pre-chat. Love hanging out with all you guys. We were here for about 20, 30 minutes, just kind of seeing what everybody's up to this weekend. It's been so nice to see everybody. So we're going to start with about an ounce of gin. Ooh, I'm pouring from this giant bottle with my left hand. It feels so unnatural, you guys. So I'm going to go with just a tiny bit more. There we go. A little bit of gin, a little bit of gin. Are we on the high up cam, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? No, not yet. Yeah, let's go. We're going to switch to a new camera, guys. We're trying out a new camera tonight in preparation for tomorrow's live stream. And so now we're going to pour in a little Chambord. I'm going to go with more like three quarters of an ounce of Chambord there. Here we go. Make it pretty and purple in honor of our friends at Fashion. Chambord is a um, black raspberry liqueur. It's a little bit expensive, not too terribly expensive, but just expensive enough that you want it for kind of special occasions, which tonight is. And now we're going to pop in our lime juice. I'm just going to go ahead and use an entire, excuse me, lemon, not lime, lemon. I'm going to use an entire lemon for this. Oh, it looks pretty, Mr. Crucibs TV. I can see the, um, the high up cam. We're trying something different. There we go. So we got our whole entire lemon in there. And I'm just going to pop this in the sink because why not? And then we will pop the lid on our shaker. I have a glass already with crushed ice. This one calls for crushed ice. And we are gonna shake, shake, shake. I don't have a huge amount of ice in here. I probably could use a little bit more. Yes, shake it up. There we go, I was trying to catch up with the live stream. There we go, okay. Shake it on camera. How do you guys like this new camera angle? Kinda cool, huh? I think that's probably good enough. So let's pour it into our pretty little glass here. All right, I'm going to garnish with a nice wedge of lemon. You obviously, this is totally optional. It's whether or not you have it. I'm gonna pop a tiny bit of LaCroix in there because I'm a bit thirsty and I'm just watering it down a bit and then we're gonna pour. Yay, guys. Ah, nothing says late spring like a bramble. So yummy. I thought it was going to fill up the glass a little bit more, but it didn't. But that is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, the convenient thing about being in the kitchen is I can just pop over and drop everything into the sink if I need to. So here it is, friends. Cheers to a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Thank you so much for being here to say hello at kind of the last minute. We really didn't give everybody a whole lot of notice. I got excited when my fashion box came in the mail today. I was like, 
I know what to do. Let's go live. It's spontaneous. Why not? So cheers. Thank you for being here. Let's taste this. Oh my goodness. That is so good. I love it. Okay, I'm going to move everything aside so that we can keep our fashion box nice and clean. I don't want it to get covered in anything foodie or drinky. But let's see what's in here. So Margie Cleveland said the overhead camera is great. Thank you, Margie. Glad you like it. Tomorrow we're going to be cooking. Um, well, I cooking is a loose word. We're going to be using the food processor to make Princess Cruz's frozen rum infused pina colada soup, which really isn't frozen. It's just chilled. So it's Mr. Cruz Soup TV's favorite chilled soup. Do you like that one better or do you like the strawberry chilled soup better? They're all good. He likes them all. So we thought we would do that. <laughs> John B said, I like it when Mr. Cruz Tips TV is feeling frisky with the camera angles. Yes, he is. And he's loving this third camera that we have mounted above my head, John. It's very cooking channel for us. And we're really excited about it because when we do um, cooking stuff, we are probably going to really rely on that camera a lot. So when we're doing prep, when we're spinning something, putting something into a food processor, which we're going to be doing tomorrow, we're going to be doing that. I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Peggy, I'm sorry your cruise isn't happening today. Well, I know that everybody is probably really excited to see what's in the box. So let's do it. Okay. Mm. That is lovely. So refreshing. Okay, let's open it up and see what we have here. Okay, Fashion ships out from Miami, by the way. And this is what you see when you receive your box. Are we up around that one? So you get a little envelope that says, hello, beautiful. And I think, should I spin it around this way? Would that be the right way for everyone to see it? A little bit better. So you get a little box here. And they send you a return envelope for anything you don't want to keep. All right. And inside the box, you have a little card that tells you how to handle things. So the fact that you can try before you buy and purchase your favorites, what to do if you need an exchange. If something doesn't fit, they give you free shipping and you can get the correct size. And then they talk about um, saving big on spending while you save rescue dogs, which is so great. For every fashion box sent, they donate $1 to Second Chance Rescue NYC Dogs. Love it. So then you have your invoice and your invoice has the name of all of the um, items on it as well as the price and the total. So it tells you your five item discount, which is 30% off. Or if you keep um, three or four pieces, you get 25% off. So they explain all of that here and then they explain to you the name of the items. So that's what you'll see. Here's that return envelope. A lot of times I don't need the return envelope. Often I keep everything, and then once you're inside, you have everything wrapped up in this beautiful purple package, and it feels like Christmas, does it not? Those of you who like subscription boxes, I know that you can relate. So let's see what we have here. Are we still on this camera? Okay, wonderful. Okay, let's see what we have. Does this look okay, everybody? Can you see what I have here? All right, let's open it up. Okay, now the first item on top here counts as one of my quarantine finds. I asked for some active wear, if at all possible, and I got the Mono B Mesh Overlay Pocket Capri Leggings in a size medium, and the color is Kiwi. Now these will be $42. This is a Capri legging, and it has a little pocket. Which camera are you on? Okay, so this one is just the cutest thing ever. And look at these pockets, you guys, for your devices. So cute. And look how deep this pocket is. It has deep pockets. Anyway, gorgeous. Oh, oh, it has pockets. The pocket wraps around. Okay, so cute, so soft. I love this. It has a little mesh um, section here. This will be so wonderful for my gym days and for my walks. I love them already. I hope that they fit. Um, usually a medium in a legging is good for me. Usually that works. I know we're doing a lot of crinkle in here. Okay, the next item is I think what's going to be my favorite in the whole box because it just screams Sherry. And it is this white birch Mia off the shoulder floral top in olive. Okay, you guys, how cute is this? Oh, and it ties on the bottom. If I had touch vision, you would feel that this is the softest cotton. It feels like 
the highest thread count sheet, only really stretchy. I wanna see this tie bottom. Okay, Morgan, stylist Morgan, you killed it with this. This is beautiful. I am such a sucker for off the shoulders. You guys, look how pretty this is. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. I love the Victorian rose look. There's kind of a little bit of a theme going on here. Everything's kind of matchy-matchy. What's everybody saying about my items? Isabel said, great color. Thank you, Isabel. Valena, welcome. Valena said, I like those capris. Yes, they're so cute. Fallen, I know. I can't wait to get my FabFitFun box. Thank you, Natasha. Ken, thank you for being here. All the dudes in the house who come to cruise gear and hang out while we talk about these lady items you guys get special props hi mom i'm glad you're here mom how did you like that last top with the pretty um victorian flowers on it yeah um brenda i think it, it looks a little teeny tiny bit big but um it is a size small and i think the sleeves are the right size i'm kind of holding it up so we can see the whole thing a little bit big maybe but I could, I think it'll probably be okay. I guess we'll see when I try it on, right? Um, Sue Pola said, love that top. Do you know ahead of time what you're getting or is it a surprise when you open the box? Excellent question, Susan. Basically what happens is they send you an email and you get to pick five items out of um, eight photographs of items. So they tell you what the item is called. They show you a photo and you get to pick the five that you want. And if there's some that you don't like, you let them know, I don't like this. Now, what if you don't like anything? You just let them know, you know what, this wasn't right, please redo it, and they'll happily redo it. They're very, it's a very personalized experience. They also have the opportunity for you to do like a video chat with your stylist before you get your box, which is so cool. Okay, thank you very much, Steven. Thank you, Bill. Generous Patters, thank you so much, appreciate it. All right, um, is it, are they having some issues in the chat? Mike and Cheryl said the chat is not updating. How weird. I wonder what's going on there, guys. It's, it, it's fine on our side. It's rolling on both of ours. Yeah, Maureen, I like this, the screen on that too. Mike and Cheryl, and those of you who are having problems, I guess I would say if you can, try to give your computer or your tablet a refresh, but um, everything looks good on our side, but we'll keep an eye on it. All right, next item is the Les Amis or Les Amis Peach Bell Sleeve Top in Small. This one is $42. Oh, you guys, this is so cute. Look at those sleeves. Mr. Cruise TV, can we go to a close-up camera? Which one do we want to go to here? The sleeves. Okay, I want to show you guys these sleeves. They are so pretty. They are basically like a mesh transparent polka dotted sleeve. I'm in love with this. So cute. It wasn't what I expected from the picture, but I have a feeling I'm gonna love this with jeans. I think I could probably also wear it to work. I am so excited to try that on. Very pretty. And you know what, you guys? I love the soft cottony fabrics. And um, I feel like Morgan, my stylist, is really hearing me on that. She's like sending me a lot more really soft, beautiful things. Like this, um, this off the shoulder top, it's so beautiful. It doesn't have that polyester feel to it. And I really like that. I know, Paul, crazy polka dots, baby. I know, Elisa, I think the sleeves are precious too. I love them. Okay, so John, you had the chat stutter. You closed and restarted and it went away. Okay, guys. Thank you for letting me know. And Bonia, yes, I'll work on getting you a photo of those. I won't be doing a try on tonight, guys, but I will get photos out to you as soon as possible. All right, the next item is so cute. I don't typically gravitate towards graphic tees because sometimes they're not like super humble. They'll say things like, I'm beautiful, or like something that I just don't resonate with. Do you guys know what I mean about the graphic tees? But this one really spoke to me. I thought it was really beautiful. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. And it's like a cap sleeve, three quarter, kind of a, not three quarter, like a little cap tank top. And it's, again, Morgan, you're killing it with the softness on my box. This is so soft. I think she probably went through and like touched everything. So anyway, it's a little graphic tee. I think it's so pretty. I love it. I might even be able to wear it. Um, I might even be able to wear it working out with those cute little capris. I think it's so sweet. Everything, so far, everything is a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, I just, I always feel that once I get my box, 
what I'm seeing, it, it's even 10 times more beautiful than what I saw on the screen when I got the email from Fashion saying, here's what you get to pick. Like the textures, the fabrics, the colors, they just kind of come alive when you're trying them. Yeah, okay, Supola, that's a good idea to do an Instagram photo shoot with all the fashion items. I will think about that. I'm really, I'm a little self-conscious about like full body shots. I don't know what it is about me, but I need to try to do it more. All right, guys, the last item is a dress. This one is called the White Birch Tropical Print Dress, and this is a medium, and it's blue. It's a little hard for me to hold it up. My stylist knows that I love back detail and spaghetti straps, but... Um, Oh, this is so cute, you guys. Um, I had this tropical dress that I wore on Harmony of the Seas that really reminded me a little bit of this one. It is beautiful, and the back is totally gorgeous. I want you guys to see this, but it's a little hard to hold up. So here's the back. It's very low, but not completely all the way down, and it has this gorgeous crisscross. She sent me a medium, and I'm thinking that that was a good decision. It doesn't look like it's too long. It looks like it's going to be a perfect fit. My microphone? Yeah, I'll be careful about that. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so beautiful. Natasha, they are getting accessories in, yes. I don't believe that they have shoes, but um, on my Instagram uh, stories a little while ago, I interviewed the founder and she showed me some of the beautiful jewelry. So this again, you guys, is like a, almost like a, feels kind of like a linen dress. It's not linen, but it's kind of a cool, casual, Hawaiian-like, um, cottony fabric. How you doing there, pal? Good? All right, guys. Yes. Okay, so Isabel said it, the dress is her favorite from the box, and I want to hear what everybody else's favorites are. Please let me know. Um, as long as everything fits, I will keep everything in the box. Just to give you an idea on price points for everything, the white birch dress was $45. The leggings were $42. The off-the-shoulder top was $45. The peach bell sleeve top was $42. And the natural life graphic tee was $44. With the buy five items discount, the whole box would be $152.60. That is with a 30% um, discount. And remember that um, if you guys use my referral link, you have you get $10 off your first box. So it's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so um, Mr. Sam, Mrs. Sam K said the peachy top was your favorite. Okay, good. Oh, I know, Isabel, the shoes. You know, I know what you're talking about. The shoes I posted on Facebook. I haven't bought them yet. What happened when I put them in my cart, Isabel, is I found that the shipping wasn't free and you had to spend $69 to get free shipping and I didn't want anything else and I didn't want to spend $69. So I didn't buy them. Um, but I'm still thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. But money these days, we should be we all should be really cautious, right? Like, a rocky economy could be ahead of us, and we're being very cautious in our family about overspending. So I'm just I'm not going to spend $70 just because. Okay, Fallen loves the floral shirt. Looks like a Sherry shirt, definitely, yes. Peggy likes the dress and leggings. Okay, love it. Aw, thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly said the green floral off the shoulder. Deborah said all the tops were cute. Megan said the dress might be a rayon blend. Yes, Megan. I bet you if I looked at the tag, I think that's probably what I would find. Yes, Cash Addict Mal, Mel said the peach with polka dot sleeves. Um, Shars Foresto, they are considering opening up to shipping to Canada. They have been asked for that, and they're asking. Yeah, Brenda, I love that green color too. As long as it's not too olivey, because my skin color doesn't look good with something that's too olivey. Okay, Cheryl likes the capris. Yes, Sue Polo wants me to keep it all. I know, crazy cat traveler. I hate strapless bras too. I'm wearing one now that's pretty comfortable. Vicky, they're working on Canada, but they don't ship to Canada just yet. I know, Peggy. I, I, I try and I ask them for very specific things, so that's important to do as well. Okay, Elisa, you like the dress too. Yeah, Karen said it all looked very... Um, very sherry. Kim likes the capris too. Mike and Cheryl said so fetch. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Oh, Brenda, you're five foot nine in flats. Yeah, see, I have the opposite problem. I need wedges. I need a little bit of um, height. Dinamo said I like the pink blouse with the sheer polka dot sleeves. 
Maureen, you get a box as often as you want. It is not a subscription service unless you want to make it into one where you can request one, but they send you a box kind of on demand. So no monthly requirement, but you can get them as often as you want or as infrequently as you'd like. Deborah, you liked all of the tops. Yeah, Daisy, it's all so cute. I'm really excited to try it on. I know, Karen. So Sherry. It's true. Aw, that's nice, Rebecca, that, that it was your last day teaching today and you're celebrating with Lauren. So sweet. Hi, girls. Nice to see you here. I like those too. Thank you, Cricket Fox. So you guys, tomorrow we are going to be having some fun here at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing comfort cooking with Sherry again. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to make the um, pina colada soup from Princess Cruises. It's a chilled soup. Um, the ingredients are all, they're in the video, but I can tell you a little rundown of what you'd need if you wanted to make it with us because it's kind of a lot. You're going to have to go to the grocery store for this one. You're going to need sour cream, yogurt, coconut milk, coconut flakes, pineapple, sugar, um... I think that's everything. Maybe limes. I think it I think it requires some lime juice as well. But it's a very simple recipe. You put just about everything in the food processor, then you move it to the bowl and you sort of blend in or fold in the um, the yogurt and the sour cream, and then you chill it for three hours, and then you can drink it out of a glass with a straw. You could put it in a bowl and enjoy it with a spoon. So. That's going to be really fun. Jim, I'm glad you liked the, um, the dress. I thought it was pretty killer, too. Hi, Rosalind from Puerto Rico. Welcome. So glad you're here. Um, Paul, I'm going to do a try-on, I think. I'm going, to try to do, I'm going to try to do a try-on and post some photos over on Instagram. So make sure you're following Cruise Tips TV on Instagram. That's amazing, Rebecca. We are not at the public gathering phase yet. We're like stage two, which stage two means... Retail and restaurants are open, but absolutely no nail salons, no hair salons, which means I still have roots, and no massages, no public gatherings over 5 or 10, so we're on a different schedule. Oh, my stars, Brenda, you had all the ingredients. Why, did, why am I not surprised? <laughs> I had to get just about everything. Oh, Vicki, that's a great idea. Yes, I'll, I'll try to wear one of the new tops tomorrow, probably the off-the-shoulder green one. It goes with that pineapple kind of look, doesn't it? Such a good idea. Mike and Cheryl, you're at phase one. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Rebecca, pineapple is an essential ingredient. Thank you very much. Um, a good, solid two cups of pineapple. Yeah. I've been missing you too, Karen. And we have a lot more coming on cruise gear, guys. Um, I'm waiting for some things to arrive. I have Target beauty boxes to show you. I have a, an Ipsy coming. Did, those of you who are Pura Vita subscribers, did you get an email saying that they couldn't get the Pura Vita bracelets out last month? So they gave you a $30 credit to go buy stuff online. And I ended up buying this necklace, which is like a daisy, uh, daisy necklace. And I also bought a bracelet that said mama on it. And it's so cute. So, oh, Mike and Cheryl, and you guys live in the boonies. So yeah, so it's kind of frustrating probably for you guys, because you know, that it's not like a you're not living in a heavily trafficked area. That's been hard for us too, because we live out in the country and there's just not a lot of people. And we know that it's probably not really super dangerous, but at the same time, it's isolating. It's very isolating. Um, but yeah. Oh my goodness. In Texas, you finally got a Manny Petty. Restaurants are open to 50%. It's weird how it, it's different states are doing things in reverse. Like we've got restaurants opening here, but you definitely can't get a Manny and Petty. It's really weird. Interesting, Denise. Thank you for sharing that about Boston. Oh, Brenda, you get a petty tomorrow as well. Oh, man. I'm telling you, you guys. Hair salons, pedicure places, massage places, they are going to be so busy, right? All right, you guys. Well, we appreciate you being here. We're going to go and microwave some dinner. We had a wonderful Mexican food dinner last night, and we only ate half of it. So I think we're going to revive the extras and then start to kind of prep for tomorrow. But we appreciate all of you being here. Um, I know that this was really super last minute. Carol said, are you wearing an allergy patch? Oh no, Carol, I'm wearing a band aid because I burned myself on the oven. You know, like a, I placed my arm down on the oven rack and I have a long, um, a long scar. And today I was picking at it, the scab, and it bled. And so what I opted to do is put Neosporin on it and just cover it completely so that it, so that I, first of all, 
I didn't pick it anymore because I get a little picky and compulsive weird when I'm stressed. And I've had a busy week at work, so I find myself picking at things and like doing bad things like that, which is really bad. You know, some people like bite their nails when they're sort of busy or stressed. I'm a picker. Um, so I just decided to cover it up. I thought that would be better. And it's a cute little band-aid. It's got little lips all over it. It was that or a Star Wars band-aid. So anyway, uh, I did have allergies today though too. Thank you guys for giving me all the updates on your state's reopening. We certainly appreciate knowing where you're at. I always like to kind of go back and look at them. But thank you, Kimberly. Thank you for the beautiful emojis and all the kind words today. Aaron, thank you for being here. I didn't get to say hi to you. And we'll see all of you guys tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern for Pina Colada Soup. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Good night.